What's up everybody, it's me Morph Shuffle and this is Guns of Icarus. It's a multiplayer game that is pretty good, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to give it some praise, but I'm also going to give it some shame as well. Now, it's one of those games that if you're on your own, it's a bit sucky, because finding a game can be hard. But if you're in a large group of friends, it's quite, quite a good game to play, especially if you're talking to each other and you're getting your communication across and you can actually spot the enemy for you. Now, you're either red or blue, which is generic in most games, either red team or blue team that you're on. Um, and you are in, basically, pirate ships that fly in the air, all controlled by balloons. So, balloons and engines, so it's basically a hot air balloon with engine on it. Now, you get a lot of guns on there, um, and there's five ships to choose from. We've got the goldfish here, which could have three guns on there. Uh, you've got gatling guns, you've got flamethrowers, you've got harpoon guns, you've got flak cannons, you've got normal cannons. Um, they all do their own various bits of damage, but this is quite a fast one, and it's quite a um, dur durable ship as well. But, then again, if it comes up against the galleon, it doesn't last long, which is another one of the ships. Uh, this is kind of a hellfire gun. Um, it's got dragon's faces on it, so it's kind of like a dragon face um, rocket launcher. Uh, going up against the junker, it can bring down an enemy ship quite quickly. Now, if you hit the balloon, and you destroy the balloon, the ship starts to go down quite quick, as you saw there. Now that's not what you want. You want to make sure that you're running around like a headless chicken. If you notice that, as you can see on the left and right of the screen at the moment, if you see one of those is going red, you know that you need to get there quick and you need to repair it quick. Because if it's the fans or the engines, uh, you'll become a sitting duck. If it's the balloons, you start to go down. If it's the hull, you blow up. And if it's the cannons, basically you lose all your weaponry. Now, with this ship, the galleon, has also been equipped with some cannons which are slow to reload, but they're very, very powerful. And if you do get hit, you get that little icon that comes around to indicate that you actually scored a perfect hit on the enemy. Now that one's burning and it's going down. Here we have the Spire, which is a bit of a weird shaped ship, I'm not going to lie. But, it's very easy to manoeuvre because it's very, very small. But then again, it is quite weak. But then again, the enemy find it really hard to hit because it's such a small ship. You can only have four forms of weaponry on it. you got two up the top, one at the middle and one down the bottom. Now you have to remember where they are because you have to run around like crazy. You have to go up and down just to get all the guns, all the angles. Here we have the Pyramidon. Pyramidon? I don't know really how to pronounce it, but there you go. Uh, that's an enemy ship that we're going up against at the moment. Uh, it's quite a strong ship. It's quite quick as well. So they're them sort of ships, they're designed to get in quick, do a bit of damage to the enemy, run like hell, then come round for another attack, either port side or on the bow. It's not a bad ship, I'm not going to lie. You can have whatever you want on it. Now, my favourite ship is the Galleon, as you can see here. It's a huge ship. It's hard to manoeuvre. Um, it's quite slow as well, but it's strong, and the weapons are strong on it as well. Now, you can see you can have six forms of weaponry on there. Um, you've got everything that you could ever want on a gun. Um, I'm only a low level on it, so I've not unlocked any forms of extra weaponry, like the ship that I'm currently flying on now, because that pilot is quite high level. Uh, you've got a Gatling gun there, which which is quite good. It's quite fast and everything. But I do like the rocket carousel because it's just awesome. Uh, you've got your field gun, which is kind of like a Flak 88. It's huge. Um, Flamethrowers, harpoon guns, Gatling guns, everything. It's just a beautiful ship to fly. Well, fly in. If you're the pilot, you are quite unlucky because the field of vision is quite hard. So if you are a pilot, you best get some practice in. Um, the rocket launcher is quite amazing it's a powerful powerful little weaponry a little bit of weaponry there um, the shots are quite accurate the, it will only start to dip after like ages like like where the ship is now I can just do that and I'll still hit it if I aim directly for that balloon it won't start to dip for ages um, quite a strong gun as well and as you can see one of my cannons is down so hopefully there's an engineer running around like a headless chicken trying to repair that because otherwise we're a gun down it's one of those games that's quite long and strenuous, so if you've got a lot of time then you can play it and you'll get into it if you put the effort in. This is the Squid, it's an ugly ship, I'm not going to lie, it's only got three weapons, three. I've never seen anyone fly at all. However, I have seen people fly the Junker, um, quite a strong ship but it's very slow and very hard to manoeuvre. You still have five forms of weaponry on it and you can do a lot of damage to the enemy. Now I've been more Shuffle and this has been Guns of Icarus Online. To sum up, if you're on your own it's a bit rubbish but if you're with groups of friends it's awesome. Check it out guys. Bye for now.